Hello guys and what's up? Welcome back to How to Arduino. Well, I wouldn't say welcome back since this would be more like welcome. This is my first Arduino video. So we're going to be working with a Elegoo Super Starter Kit. As you can see right here. Uh, this is a really good starter kit if you want to use it to apply with my videos, but if you want to get a book with more, like a starter kit with more instructions, I would recommend the official uh, Arduino kit, which of course would be the best. Today, we're going to use some of the stuff in here to use a button. The ultimate point of this video is to use this button to light up a small LED like one of these. Shouldn't be too hard. We will not need the motherboard, which is where the program is stored, and I'll show you guys in the next video, of course. But right now, let's focus on the breadboard. So the breadboard is where most of your circuit's probably gonna be. So there's, it's pretty big. If you, if you get this starter kit right here, you would get this board, and it's pretty, it's it's the best. I mean, it's, it's really good. Uh, in here, uh, here, the red is positive. As you can see, the blue is negative. So on this side of the breadboard, the current, the electricity flow flows like down vertically in each, each separate line. Well, here, in all of the middle rows right here, uh, it flows horizontally and is cut off right here by this edge. So if you put something right there and you connect it by something right here, it will not work because of this in the middle. Same thing applies here that applied to the other side. So it's basically symmetrical. There's like letters and one, five, ten numbers. So yeah, that's where we're going to be m doing most of the things on. So this, as you can guess, is a button. You just click it. So this, we will put on the breadboard to be able to light it. So, first thing, we a button should always be placed above this edge that you see should always be placed above so that this way so that basically if something arises there and you push the button it, it can activate another part of the circuit right here so both sides of the breadboard are connected very 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 useful second thing we might need which would have been first but is to give power so we're gonna be using a battery which uh, here, I'm just in the... Oh, there it is. So we're going to be using a 9-volt battery, because that's just the best. And this... To connect it. Not too hard. It works. Just need to open this wrapper. Ah, there we go. So that's this. Uh... So, we're just going to be using this. This looks like a motherboard. You could think this is a motherboard, but no. It's just, if you don't want to use the motherboard, which is about three times bigger than this, I guess. It's not too big, so. It's just uh, an easier way. So, it, it, it this does not store program or anything. This is just so that we can plug this thing right here, you know? So we're going to plug the battery just, so you want to make sure that these two, there's like a, a hexagon and a circle. You want to make sure that the circle does not match with the circle and it goes into the hexagon. Wait, I sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. So now we got power coming to here. We'll just have to connect the power coming into this to the breadboard. So the way we do that 
if we look very closely on here, look at those white pins, you can see a little writing which says G and D right here. You probably can't see it. Which means that these pins, the bottom line right here, one along my finger, are the ground pins. The ground goes along with the negative because it just goes into the ground and that's it. So, in the kit, you should have cables. So you would pull maybe an orange one out. Orange stands out pretty good. Pull an orange one out, like so. And pull a, if you can find it, darker color, like blue. That would work. So, in robotics, bright red, like red is for power, which is going to be the 5 volts in this program. And darker colors like black or blue, or green even, are always used for negative. It's just a way to, you know, to make it easier, of course. So, now, there's one problem. We will not be able to use these. For one simple reason, it is that if you look, these are pins right here, and then this, you need it's like holes, so you plug the pins into it. So what we need is a cable that has a hole and a pin. So of course, these do not apply. They have pins on both sides. So in this pit kit, there's a few wires called... I've used a lot of them, but male to female DuPont wires, which have a hole and a pin. So let's just pull. So because there's no bright colors and I used all my bright colors to play with the joystick, we'll use green as a positive and black as a negative. So, let's just plug him in, you know. So, black, you got to be really attentive to this. Put the black in the bottom row, just like so, right here. So that's this. Now, the important part is that right here, there's one that says 3.3 volts and one that says 5. So, we're going to be using the 5, which is those two pins that are right here. So, let's just plug it in like so so ah there we go when you're done you should look like this the two other ends right here will plug in to the positive and negative sides so green remember green is positive so we'll put green in the plus, because plus is positive. We all know that. We all did our math. And then this is black, which goes into the negative, which is, you know, minus sign. We all did our math once again. So now remember that the flow goes down we like this. But we have to, we're going to use cables like these now. Now we're finally going to get to use the small cables and connect these to here where they flow horizontally. So I hope this makes sense. I'm not sure if it does. I hope it does. So positive orange closer to red. So we will make sure to put it on the to the board which is on because you gotta press the on button. And then the electricity flows into those cables into right here where it flows vertically into these up here and into the button now if you press the button this light right there is going to turn off you just have noticed because the electricity can is open it like does what it wants so we don't want that to happen correct and we're finally going to get to open this bag Pull out a red LED, pull out a red one, because weirdly enough, I learned this not too long ago, but 
the red LED uses 1.7 volts, while a yellow one, for example, would use more. So we'll just use the red one, which is the one that uses the least, and we'll just put it somewhere uh, around the 25. But before you put it in, you see there's a long one right here, and there's a short one. The long one's for positive, small one's for negative. So put the positive side, the positive side, the cathode, pretty sure, on the top side. So the closest possible to the switch. So yeah, just like so. Put it in. But now you're like, if I press the button, it won't light up. Now, of course it won't because this needs... Like, the power from here needs to be connected into here, correct? So what we're going to do, we're going to use more cables from this. So use a, a, an orange one again, and a green one, or a blue one, or whatever dark color you, pr you prefer. So we're going to go across, so here, we're going to go across to the other side of the breadboard, because remember the switch? Carries the electricity over. And put the orange cable that you have not lost like I just did. Right here. Aligned with the other one. So then. This. I'm actually doing this wrong. Bam. Put this LED. Not on this side of the edge. But on this side of the edge. So that it makes it easier to follow. Put the green one. Furthest away from the switch. Remember because. That was the negative. There. And put this one right next to it. See? It lights up. See? Now, instead of taking this, you saw that it lit up. Good job if you got this far. But, remove this orange cable. Right now, just remove it. Put it away, and take out a bag that would look like this. Okay, oh, we're already 13 minutes in. Wow, this shouldn't be more small longer. So take out this bag, open it up, and pull out one that reads 220 on it. It looks like a 120, but it's 220. I have used up like half of mine, but it's okay. Just take it out. Take one of these things off, and I'll explain it right when you do that. So, now that you have this in your hand, from the 220 pack, this has to be from the 220 pack, because it's 220 OHM or OMH, which is the amount that this thingy called a resistor will limit that gets to the LED. Because if there's all the 5 volts that's in here that gets to the LED, which uses 1.7 volts, it'll just burn, right? And we don't want it to burn, do we? So, so what you have to do is put this between the switch and the LED, right here. So that's what we're going to do. Bam. It's in, in one side. It does not matter which way you put it. Now, you will see that this will not stretch far enough to get all the way to the switch. So just, just you know, do a little bridge like this. So that it just, it kind of looks nice. But you're like, if it won't, it doesn't work, right? We'll get another cable out. You might not have put it away, but just take it off. Take it back. Put it in front of the resistor, bam, and connect it to the switch like you did. See? Now we'll remember. There's that. Press the button. Great job. Okay, that's it. See you guys in the next video.